Parts of the Midwest are underwater as a dangerous weather system continues to wreak havoc on multiple states. Two people died after the bomb cyclone unleashed historic floods in Nebraska. Forecasters warn that parts of Iowa and Nebraska remain at risk. Meg Oliver has more. The fast-moving floodwaters washed out several towns in eastern Nebraska and Iowa. Every levee south of Council Bluffs to the Missouri border has been breached. We got a lot of d difficult decisions ahead. It's devastating. It is devastating. Oh, Merlin Bemis had to be plucked out of the cold floodwaters, which filled his Omaha cabin. I was scared. I was petrified. You know, I didn't know what was, how fast it was coming up. Emergency evacuations are in place after several levee failures along the Missouri River. It's expected to crest Sunday at more than 40 feet south of Omaha. That would mark 15 feet over flood stage. First responders rescued people off the roof of pickup trucks all weekend. At least two people have died. In Columbus, Nebraska, 50-year-old James Wilkie was swept away as he tried to help someone stranded when a bridge collapsed. His body was recovered hours later near his farm. It's the aftermath of last week's bomb cyclone. That weather phenomenon produced blizzard conditions in portions of western Nebraska and severe flooding. I was blown away. Uh, the utter devastation. The power of nature is incredible. The disaster will plague the region for days. Major flooding along the Missouri River is forecast to last through the end of this week. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York.